Battery electric vehicles have dominated the spotlight, but there are more ways than that to make a zero emissions vehicle. This is the Hyundai Nexo, and it's the company's latest fuel cell vehicle powered by hydrogen. All you have to do is pump pressurised hydrogen into the car's tanks. From there, it combines with atmospheric oxygen in the stack and creates electricity to drive the wheels. The only waste products are water and excess heat, which means it's a zero emissions experience. The best part is the driving range is about 600 kilometres, and it only takes five minutes to fill up the tank, and that's something that an electric car can't yet do. For many, this could be the future of motoring. Reflecting the futuristic tech underneath, the Nexo SUV's design makes it clear this is not your average internal combustion vehicle. The Tesla-style flush door handles reduce air resistance and simply pop out when you unlock the car or at low speed. The coefficient of drag is really low for a crossover. Despite using hydrogen as a fuel, the Nexo also has a lot in common with an electric car. There's a small battery to store waste energy and to supplement the hydrogen system's laggy power delivery. In this way, it's like a regular EV to drive. So here we are behind the wheel of the Nexo and you know, it's not every day in this gig after doing it for a while that you get to experience something truly new. And this is the first time I've ever driven a hydrogen fuel cell car and the experience is well, surprisingly normal. Um, it feels just like an electric car, meaning you've got smooth, linear, pretty instantaneous acceleration. And that's because the onboard battery storage basically fills in the hole or the torque hole or the response gap that you get from the hydrogen uh, cell system. So it drives beautifully. And the other really impressive thing about this car is just, you know, despite being an expensive, almost concept car for the road, how relatively familiar everything feels. It's got this really beautiful new design inside the car, two massive screens uh, with swiping and, and, and all sorts of great control. Plenty of buttons here but all clearly labelled and, and relatively tactile to the hand and perhaps one of the most uh, impressive semi-autonomous driving systems I've come across on any car. The lane assist system is just preternaturally good. It, it doesn't just get you near the line and sort of bounce you off it, it keeps you fixed in the middle of the road. And, Obviously these Korean highways are kind of an easy environment for that, but nevertheless it's highly impressive. Um, this technology, I guess at the moment, is kind of in its infancy. It's got a lot of upside for trucks and buses, uh, where the recharging times become more important and the packaging benefits really come through. But, you know, Hyundai has shown with this car that it's very feasible to make a, a hydrogen fuel cell uh, vehicle for the road. It's just a regular old family SUV with electric car-like responses and plenty of tech. The real question is going to be if it can get that price down to make it viable. But you know, if the mission for Hyundai here was to make a car that just feels like a normal luxury SUV, it's really achieved it beautifully. The big issue stopping the wider rollout of these sort of vehicles so far has been hydrogen infrastructure, or the lack thereof. However, with big commercial vehicles like trucks and buses, Hyundai alone is making 26,000 of the latter using fuel cell drivetrains already, worldwide infrastructure will grow. It's no coincidence that BP, Shell and other oil companies are investing hundreds of millions, even billions, into the tech. Many governments are also starting to mandate that hydrogen be made with renewable energy, which would address two major impediments. So what about Australia? Hyundai has already sold 20 to the ACT, with wind farms to create the hydrogen. The population of fuel cell trucks is also growing, with one Melbourne council getting on board already. The company plans to sell many more to local fleets with a green bent, if it can. OK, so many people think that urban cars are likely to become battery electric vehicles thanks to the greater infrastructure on offer and their packaging benefits, plus their lower cost. But zero emission motoring is not a zero sum game. And Hyundai, plus Toyota, Honda, Audi and many others reckon fuel cell cars like this one are part of the solution. Read the written review on caradvice.com for more.